right, so today we're going to do a pod review. Today on this pepper right over here, it's the end of the year. The greenhouse is cleaned out, but we managed to keep a few of these peppers. And this is one right here. And this is called the Turkish Sweet Turkish Ball or Turkish Ball or something to that effect. So that's what this is called. It's a Sweet Turkish Ball pepper. I'll try to give you some angles and different sunlight. And we'll spin you around and around and around we go. And that is it right there. That is the sweet Turkish ball. I didn't get too many of these this year. But next year we're going to focus on planting this out. And try to get it to full production. We are wintering it over. So it should stay alive through the winter. And if it does, next year we are going to get a ton of the sweet Turkish ball pepper. Alright, so let's turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, here we are. We're doing another pot review today. It's going to be on this pepper right here, and this pepper is called the Sweet Turkish Ball Pepper. Right there. That is it. Took all year for this pepper to actually turn red. It actually didn't even turn red until I picked it off the plant and let it sit on the table for about three weeks, and then it went from like a bonish yellow light green color to what you see here. So it literally took forever for this pepper to eventually turn red but it finally did and here it is that is the sweet turkish ball this is actually quite a rare pepper i don't know that much about this pepper but i do know that you cannot buy this anywhere online and i am one of the few people who probably still and ever will still offer this pepper until maybe other people grow it and uh, collect seeds from it and then eventually uh, offer it on their websites but until now I am the only person who's going to be offering seeds for the sweet Turkish ball pepper. So here it is. It's not supposed to have any heat on it, but we're going to find out right now. All right, so without any further ado, let's give it a go. Well, what I can say about it is straight out the gate, it has virtually no sweetness in it. Uh, there was, it could just be because this was sitting on a table so long I had to kind of pick it in its bone stage and let it ripen on my table. Maybe it didn't. Maybe next year when we get this to grow out fully, we might be able to get a sweeter flavor on it. But as of right now, as red as that thing was, there was no sweetness at all. It was like eating a flavorless pepper. There's not even really much of a pepper flavor to it other than it tasting like slightly peppery a little bit but realistically there was basically no flavor on it so let me take another bite and let's see if we can grab some flavor so basically it does have a slight pepper flavor very slightly but the flavor is very neutral it has virtually zero sweetness on it you don't taste any sugary sweetness at all the the pepper aftertaste is very mild it doesn't stick around very long it's very hard for me to try to really come up with the flavor of what it tastes like or anything it doesn't really taste like bell pepper it's fl it's flavor is because it lacks that sweetness it's really strange so i don't know if it's just this year it didn't develop sweetness because it just i don't know if they're going to be like that next year we'll find out next year because i am going to grow this out to its fullest but as of right now, there's no sweetness. There does seem to be a little bit of heat associated with this, but that could be because I just recently ate a couple of hotter peppers, some Carolina canes that I had. So maybe that's still a little bit on my lips, but if there is heat, it's very low. It wouldn't be more than 100 on a Scoville. But I, I am sensing something, but again, that could be just a little bit of a residual from an earlier pepper review. And this is supposed to be a sweet pepper with no heat on it. So it could just be that. But other than that, I mean, there's really not much else to say about it. Again, it has no sweetness to it at all. Uh, it's not bad tasting. It's just very flavorless, basically, with a very light tone of pepper flavor to it, if you want to say that. I guess you would want to you kind of say maybe an over-ripened green type of bell pepper. If you can picture taking a bell pepper green and let it ripen all the way like that before it, like not letting it turn red, so to speak, it would kind of taste something like that. But other than that, 
I mean, I really don't know what else to say. It's just, it's a low flavored pepper. And this would be good for certain situations in cooking. And it might be good for certain people who don't like bell peppers or peppers in general, but they kind of want to experiment with peppers. They just don't like strong pepper flavor. Uh, if you're one of those people, this would probably be a good pepper for you because it's just low in flavor in general. And it doesn't have any sweetness. It doesn't taste salty or sour or nothing. It's just like it's like eating, chewing on something that has absolutely no flavor. It's just a bizarre type of an effect. I mean, this thing's red. This thing should be loaded with flavor. I mean, look at that thing. It, it's just nothing in it. I'll take one more bite. Yeah, the flavor is just very low. There's really nothing to it. But we'll grow it out next year, and we'll we'll grow it out to its fullest, and we'll see if it can develop some sweetness. I think it's just this pod literally sat in that plant for like three months, and finally I had to bring the plants in. And so I had to cut the plants down and take this pl this pepper off the plant, and that might have something to do with it not having the sweetness. I got a feeling that's probably what happened, but... As of right now, I can't say it has sweetness because maybe it doesn't. We'll see next year. We'll grow it out. All right, so that was your pod review for the sweet bowl pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.